The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. Farming isn't just in the land, it's in you. Take control of weeds like never before. Enlist builds on the Roundup Ready system, combining proven control of a new 2,4-D and glyphosate in Enlist Dual Herbicide. Protect what matters without changing the way you farm. Talk to your seed or crop protection supplier today. Our Weed of the Week is common milkweed, and I'll tell you what, over the last couple of years, we've taken a lot of emails and calls from people who are concerned about monarch butterflies. And let me just tell you, here's the good news about common milkweed. If you want to raise common milkweed, as far as we know, it's not a primary noxious weed in any area, and the county or state you live in is not going to force you to control it. So the good thing is, if you want monarch butterflies, you can buy some ground, you can seed milkweed, and you can keep it out there if you want to, okay? So let's just get that out of the way right up well, front. Well, and I'd, now, say, I'd say this if, too, Brian, in yep. non-crop areas, I think milkweed has really grown over the last few years. I think the populations of milkweed, just noticing it throughout the countryside in ditches, in fence lines, in tree belts, in CRP ground, there's more milkweed than I've seen in years. Yep, so if you wanna raise common milkweed, you just go right ahead and do it, and then you can have plenty of monarch butterflies. For those of us who wanna control it, that's what we're gonna talk about today. All right, well, when you think about common milkweed control. It is a perennial weed, so it's tough to control that way. It's got rhizomes that run beneath the ground. So I'll give you a couple of tips. Number one, don't do tillage. Leave that root system intact. That way when you spray your herbicide selection, which is Roundup, that's the only one that I'm going to recommend today. Spray Roundup at a high rate. You have enough Roundup to translocate all through that root system and kill every shoot. You can wipe out milkweed in your field situation in just a matter of a year or two. Well, it does take a good strong rate though. That's the whole thing. If you don't have that high rate, you're not going to get enough product in there to completely kill every single growing point. So certainly out in shelter belts, let's say, or in ditches, a lot of people are just going to use 2,4-D and you're gonna have to unless you're gonna kill the grass with Roundup. So you just go out there with 2,4-D, all you're gonna do is ding it up and it's going to come right back. That's why we, like Darren said earlier, are seeing more milkweed around because how are you going to control it in grass? You're probably not. Well, the only other thing in grass is you could add Tordon to the mix. You could use something like Grazon, for example, that would have some ester and also some Tordon in the equation. That'd be your best bet. Otherwise, out in crop ground, I'd strongly recommend a stiff rate of Roundup for your burn down to wipe out common milkweed. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week common milkweed, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.